It's really exciting. We're about halfway through the project, so phase two of phase four, and it's just exciting to see things come together. You know, we're in this in every day. You start looking at it now where it's all getting finished. We're starting to get it equipped and supplied, and, and it's really exciting. Well, one of the first things that we opened up in phase two was a new uh, waiting area, a centralized waiting area for our surgery, our cardiovascular, and our radiology areas. Really nice, some really nice features in it some unique little seating spaces in it, four consult rooms for physicians to be able to talk to family members. And then the biggest thing is really two thirds of our new surgery prep recovery area are opening up. So we have 28 rooms that will be opening up and it'll really be a nice area. We've consolidated a lot of our smaller areas into one area. We had to sit down early on in the pandemic and decide, okay, are we gonna move forward? We can delay things and we decided at the time it really was best. We thought we could have measures in place that would make it a very safe environment. We're wearing masks, we're doing daily temperature screening. It was really a very good move for our several projects besides this one too, to just keep moving forward. Phase three is really gonna be an exciting part. We're gonna finish up the last three of our 14 operating rooms, so dedicated primarily to cardiovascular services. And then we also have a new post-anesthesia care unit, our PACU, that will open up. So we're really excited about that. I think it's just Brian's dedication to providing the most excellent patient care that we can, and we've got some facilities that help support that. <laughs>